Now in this next chart, which is from the EIA.gov website, U.S. Energy Information Administration, we see gasoline consumption in the U.S. This is measured as U.S. products supplied, but consumption matches supply because the gas stations don't hold that much inventory for very long. And that's why we take a four-week average. One could take a weekly data reading, but that is just very noisy, so we take this four-week average instead. And the URL will be in the description box below. U.S. gasoline consumption peaked in around late 2006, early 2007, and it is considerably below that. Remember, this is before oil became expensive, and as oil became expensive and we had a recession, there was a dip and a recovery, but not to the all-time highs again, and now we see it is going down even now. And there's a couple of factors contributing to this. Electric vehicles contribute a little bit, but electric vehicles are still less than 1% of the miles driven in the United States. They are 7% of new car sales right now and rising quickly, but that is new car sales. New cars sold represent a small fraction of total cars in use, and therefore miles driven are still less than 1% consumed by EVs. The bigger factor over here is the work from home revolution. Even if it's only 15 to 20% of jobs where work from home most of the time is possible, that is very meaningful in terms of a reduction in gasoline consumption. Because remember, over here in 2007, the number of jobs in the United States was about 135 million. Now it's about 155 million. So a 15% increase in the number of jobs, but nonetheless less gasoline consumption than before. Not more, but less because of the work from home component as the primary disruptive technology and electric vehicles as the secondary disruptive technology. Now, as both of those disruptions continue, this number will go down somewhat more. Now, not all driving, of course, is due to work commutes. This includes commercial vehicles like post office vehicles, police cars, delivery vehicles, and so forth. It also includes recreational driving. The ability to work from home has increased recreational driving in many cases. Many people can begin their road trip earlier in the day rather than after work because they are working from home and don't need to come home from the office. Or they can do more things during the day that involve driving. But this is a chart that we will track as the years progress because we will see the disappearance of gasoline demand to a significant extent, mainly due to the dematerialization and decentralization that technological disruption entails. Thanks for watching.